بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I have another question for you Is the problem in your body or is it in your heart? Let me answer it for you While I do so you answer it for yourself. All my life, I have been able to be awake for nights at length, do everything, keep standing up. I will work at, in, in wherever I am working or you are, standing up probably for seven, eight hours, 10 hours. Some of you easily can spend three, four hours on the ladder in a very dangerous place, easily. But when it comes to salah, prayers, you say that I'm too tired. Hardly ever you can stand up for one minute. You try to make your salah with the shortest surah. If your imam, for example, is used to leading salah in 10 minutes, and someday he happens to lead it for 11 minutes, instantly the complaint will come. You have done Salah this time a bit longer. What happened? Salah to Taraweeh is out of the question. Who wants to stand up for 15 to 20 minutes for two rakah? In fact, those who pray the fastest Salah to Taraweeh are the ones who are considered the best, unfortunately. So when it comes to Salah, you cannot stand up, isn't it? So what's the problem? Your body cannot handle you? It hurt in the morning when you were working for eight hours. So the problem is not in your body physically, it is in your heart. For 14 or 16 or 18 years, you woke up early in the morning to go to study in time. Whereas to wake up for Fajr, you could not do it. So what's the problem? Where is the problem? Your body, you can't control it. No, the problem is not in your body. Allah has given you a perfect body. It is in your heart. The problem is in your heart. That's why you can't wake up for Salatul Fajr. Qiyamul Layl, praying at night. If it is something to do just to waste time, parties, going here and there, you can be awake, wide awake in fact, for the whole night. And when it comes to Qiyamul Layl, you can't do it because you are sleepy. No, you are lazy. So what's the problem? Your body can't take it? No, indeed it can. The problem is... Yes, say it, come on. Alhamdulillah, yes, there you go. It is in your heart. Same applies in so many other things. You may study for the whole night to go and give exams in the morning, fully prepared, wide awake. Miskeen, wallah. Ayu wallah, by Allah. You don't know in the morning you, took, you fully prepared, go to give exams, and you die on the way with not being prepared for the real three questions coming after you die. So pr the problem is with whom? Is it your body? Is it your, in your intellect? No, it is your heart. You have issues in your heart, your iman, your taqwa, your salah. Allah says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah only mandates on you what you are able to do. So it's not your body. Alif Lam Mim, أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون. Do you think that after you declare your Iman, Allah is not going to test you? أَحَسِبَ النَّاسُ أَنْ يُتْرَكُوا أَنْ يَقُولُوا آمَنَّا وَهُمْ لَا يُفْتَنُونَ أَيُّ وَاللَّهُ سَنُفْتَنَ الامتحان سيأتي We are going to be put to trials and test from Allah. سبحانه وتعالى So next time, don't give that as an excuse that boldly you can't take. Physically, you are too tired. You can't do Qiyamul Layl, it is too hard for you to fast. It, the problem is in your heart, not in your body. So once you engrave that to your, in yourself, that I can do it, I can do Qiyamul Layl, I can pray in the masjid, I can read Quran, I can stay awake for 10 to 15 to 20 minutes for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you get that engraved in yourself, shaitan will fail and you will prevail bi ta'ala. 
ان في ذلك لا عبره لمن تذكر فتعذ يا اولي الالباب والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته